Druckenmiller says he has massive, bullish bets on two-year notes. Bloomberg Bloomberg Billionaire investor Stan Druckenmiller said he's bought massive, bullish positions in two-year notes, as he's become more worried about the economy. Most read from Bloomberg immigrants are leaving Canada at faster pace, study shows Israel latest. Blinken returning to Israel. Refugee camp hit Zillow plunges after verdict on real estate brokerage commission Saudi forces on ale. RT after clash with Iran-backed Houthisani's bungee game unit cut 8% of staff after Destiny play. Wilted in R. Below are your comments. Not really a risk at two years. Just betting it all falls apart and he makes 10% in six months. Downside is he makes 10% in 24. Harry may, but Tom, Bleep, and Mary won't refinance while they keep the cheap loans for now. Dot. The market tell, big bank don't do it. How does a person respond to someone who shows their lust and greed for money and fame is off the ch. arts. This selfish, selfish, selfish horrific, disgusting fascist must be executed, calling for cutting sp. Ending while he has billions, he is just exactly what is wrong with this country, hurt the poor so t. He most selfish, worthless can have more and more. Die you monster, die. Next news. Brace for 8% mortgage rates to drag the U.S. housing market into a 1980s-style recession, Wells Fargo warns. Business Insider. Strategists compared the current slowdown in activity to the 1980s, when the Fed's aggressive in terror. Saint rate hikes also put pressure on house prices. Below are your comments. I've seen people post about the rates being high in the 1980s and it worked out. This is true due to the fact that the home prices were less than 100,000. Now think about 8% 8 on 800 to 1 million. This isn't the same because home prices are 10 times what they cost back then. Not true. In the 80s interest rates were 20 to 25 percent. People have too much money. 8 percent won't stop sales when appreciation is 10 percent per year. And if you are wrong, the government gives you a bailout. Big mistake to bail out banks and flippers in 2008. Home prices will have to fall. As one who bought the first home back in 1983, I paid 11.5% interest rate in Lexington, Kentucky. We sold and moved on to a different place and signed up at 9% to buy another home. The interest rate gradually came down, and the same bank agreed to loan at 7.5% note with thou. People and markets are so addicted to easy money and rates near zero that normalized rates all of a sudden seem high. Next news. The stock market is approaching a once in a generation buying opportunity as profits are about to take off almost everywhere, investment firm says. Business Insider Profits are about to take off in virtually every area of the market, Richard Bernstein Advisors says. Dot dot. Below are your comments.
I'm just going to invest in index funds when the market is down, and I'll invest in index funds when the market is up, and hopefully I'll be able to retire before I'm 150 years old. And everyone believed them when they said it was inflation, apparently if every company is about to record their highest profits ever across the board, that means it was corporate greed, not an increa. Say in costs. Again the world was duped by our corporate overlords. Translation. Please buy because we need to liquidate soon before the market drops another 10%. All I heard was we need a massive cash infusion. Be aware, careful. Hedge funds use algorithms via Almomation to bid up a stock. Once people follow, they dump it, and take profits. They then repeat the same step, over and over again. Also, pre-market trading begins at 4 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which allows a stock price to be manipulated prior to market open A. Next news. 10 stocks turn $10,000 into $160,927 in 10 months. Investors Business Daily. The S&P 500 just dropped for the third straight month, clobbering most S&P 500 investors. But there's still plenty of ways to profit. Below are your comments. If you had correctly guessed last month's Powerball numbers, you could have been a billionaire. Brilliant. Dot. And another 10 stocks turn $10,000 into $158 in 10 months. Just get that time machine working. Dot. Right because we have a crystal ball to know exactly which companies to buy and when to buy them to get this kind of return. Pointless article. If I had a $100,000 right now I'd quit my job. At least for a few months or a year or so. I have about $57,000 in the bank right now. Just need the $43,000 cushion. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.